Okay, this sublevel has more snagrits. Now, they're all over there, I believe. Yeah? Okay, good. It's kind of rare, but sometimes... Well, like I said, there's two snaggerts in this sublevel. Sometimes they will appear in the landing area right here. As you can see, there's another antenna beetle, and the first one is actually... Right around here. There it is. Okay. Okay, so... Here's the first one. Uh... There it is. Sweet. Come on. Ah, uh, perfect. Alright, so it looks like the antenna beetle's all the way over there. So, I'm gonna leave my Pikmin here and go scope out the other Snagret. I believe it's probably gonna be right around here. There's the... Yeah, there it is. Alright, so let me just grab my white Pikmin so I can clear out that poison and then I can take my purples in to bust ass. Uh, as you can see, they give you well, a candy pop bud, which is helpful. I'm actually going to use that right now. Actually, I'll use it later. And a white flower and a blue flower, as there is water in this sublevel. So I'm just going to take my whites and try to clear all the poison out of here real, just real quick. Sub level is kind of difficult. You got to know what kind of Pikmin you're using. Oh, and there's one of the treasures. Wow, that actually makes its head and the treasure looks like a penis, kind of. Sorry, teenager humor. <laughs> okay, and I guess there's that guy again. Freaking floating bulb orbs. So, Snaggerit is around here. Hopefully he won't come up and I'll just be able to... They give you a lot of blue flowers in this place. I guess they're really emphasizing the use of water. Oh, and I guess... Eh, I guess I can just use my other Pikmin to bring back the treasure. There we go. No, get back here. Sweet! Alright. No, 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 no. One, two... And one more. There. Cool. Alright. So. We have. Worth 60 Pocos. The Triple Sugar Threat. And our second treasure is. Oh, well, it's not a treasure, it's a head. Alright, now we'll take my purples, dear lord. And finally, I can take on this Snagger and the Antenna Beetle. Now, the two right next to each other is kind of obnoxious, just because a special power of the Antenna Beetle is if you get caught, if your Pikmin get caught in its little aura thing it has there, then they will actually, like, become slaves of the Pikmin. See, as you can see right there, and... Get back here. And if this happens then your Pikmin will be fair game for the Snagrit. Okay. And that is what will happen. Your Pikmin... So I just lost three purples there, just because of the friggin' Antenna Beetle. So that will happen. Your Pikmin will follow the Antenna Beetle, become slave to it, and the Antenna Beetle will drag it into different hazards, such as poison and Snagrits and... Just be careful, and kill it quickly, keep it away from the Snaggeret if possible, but if not possible, just be cautious, because it is not fun dealing with it. In fact, that Snaggeret was pretty redundant because, well, it didn't even have a treasure, but anyway, whatever. So here we have a second treasure. I'm going to go back to Olimar and get some of my blue Pikmin. Well, actually, I'll just get everyone. Why not? So let's just take the Pikmin all the way over here. I'm actually running low on red on a purple Pikmin, which might be a problem in the near future, but let me take some white Pikmin. Just take care of this poison trap. Come on, go faster. And once that is done, 
We have our third treasure. So, come on, Louie. Once that is done, we can take our blue Pikmin, which will lead us to the final treasure. And do I have 23? Eh, 24. I am surprised that that's even a treasure. Anyway, so let's go over here. This floating bulb orb actually has the treasure right here, believe it or not. So the water hazard wasn't even really an issue. Some different variations of this sublevel can really be annoying to you. Like, some things that may be annoying are, well, what I experienced was the antenna beetle was right next to the burrowing snaggeret, so they kind of latched onto each other and became butt buddies for a second before I killed them both. But they got three of my purples, so I guess it worked for what it was worth. Anyway, also, in kind of these watery areas, the snaggeret can actually appear around here which is really, really troublesome, because you can only fight it with purple Pikmin. So, if you really want to get your balls busted, just hope that it appears in the water area. Here we have the stupendous lens, which looks like a magnifying glass or something? Who knows? And our second one is... Huh, the top of a fruit can, I guess? Saliva Tricks, that's a disgusting name. And it looks like... Ah, uh, they're not even close. Where's my other one? Okay, um... Am I base right now? No, I'm not. Alright, let me just cut to the end of this wall. Well, actually, it's not going to be too much longer, so we'll just wait it out, but... As you can see, this is sub-level 6, and... The next sublevel is 7, which is the final sublevel, and let me just kind of foreshadow the boss. It is not a very fun boss. As this cave implies, it's called the Snaggret Hole, it is implied that you will be fighting a Snaggret. And let me just say, you're fighting a Snaggret, alright. So here we are at the final floor. The first thing I advise is go this way. Okay. So, let me just quickly get some nectar. Or whatever is in this. And, yeah, it is nectar. Let me just quickly get some of it. Okay, let me explain the boss. So as you can see, it's a big pit here. This is the boss. It is a Snaggret. This is a different kind of Snaggret that has a foot. Instead of just being stationary, this thing can move. It is called the Pileated Snaggret. And its difference is that it is much taller, has much higher defense, and it has a foot. So it can walk around if you let it get up. So as you can see, it can chase me all the way over here. And because of that, it is not a very fun boss. Like, look, look, look! It chases you around. The only way to get to stop chasing you is run behind it. And that is how you will defeat it. By running behind it. So first of all, of course, I'm going to take my purples. Some people would advise taking their yellow Pikmin, but you can do this if you want to defeat it a bit slower. So personally, I'm going to take this. Now, there's a specific way to defeating it. First of all, if it gets up on its feet, run like hell. Do not fight it with any leaf Pikmin, because it will catch up to your Pikmin and it will kill them. There's a lot of eggs around here to compensate for it. So the way you defeat it is similar to how you defeat the Burrowing Snaggeret. You just wait for its head to get stuck, and then you kill it. And when it goes up, just go behind it and it will be forced to go back down. Now I'll show off another method of killing it. This will kill it much slower, but probably ensure you a lot less Pikmin deaths. I just gotta wait for it to go back down in the ground. 
So, come on, man, get stuck. Okay. Yeah. Whew, okay, come on, get in the ground. Come on! I don't know if this is a fact, but I think the Pileated Snaggeret has a much lower chance of getting its head stuck coming out of the ground. At least it sure seems like it. Alright, so... This is the boring part, just waiting for it to get stuck in the ground. And once again, it makes it out fully. Let me cut to where it actually gets stuck in the ground. Oh, here we go. So, another way to feed it is when it gets stuck in the ground, spray it with Ultra Bitter Spray. Hope it, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Get behind it, you will be safe. Here we go. Okay. Once again, just do this. And, come on, get stuck. Yay! Twice in a row, sweet. And I think this might just do it. Okay, one more wave of, att of attacks and he will be dead. Yes! Oh my god, three times in a row! And with that, the Pileated Snaggard is no more! It explodes like any other Snaggard, and our treasure is... It looks like a custom Robo fighting suit. Yes, that bird beast will trouble me no more, because that was a real pain in the ass. And here we have what the ship calls a mechanized masterpiece, which we'll just take back, of course. And what's in here? Whoa, my tights! Oh, I love my tights, but I hate them. Because they give tons of nectar, but they're annoying as hell. So anyway, it looks like the geyser is back here. No, it's just another egg. Geyser is... Where the hell is the geyser? Oh, here it is. Alright, so as we wait for this to get back to the ship, we'll just chill at the geyser. Ah, uh, there is a lot of nectar right there, but there are indeed my tights there that I don't want to pick up, so... Here's our treasure, worth a hundred Pocos, its name is the Justice Alloy. What it does is apparently defies the laws of physics, and what he does with it is makes the Metal Suit Z. What this suit does is it's really durable, and it doesn't really do as, like, basically your captains don't take as much damage from monsters anymore, so it's pretty helpful. But with that being our only treasure in this sublevel, let's get out of here. <sighs> nice. With a total of 15 treasures and just over 1,200 Pocos, we complete this cave. Uh, with 10 Pikmin deaths, but whatever. Don't judge. It's only ten, even though most of them were whites and purples, but... Uh. Okay, so, instead of making another video just for the Awakening Wood, or the second part of this day, I'm just gonna end this day off. And, with that, we have 90% of our debt recovered, so probably with the next cave, we will be done with the debt. But that'll be in the next episode, because even though I have lots of daytime left, I'm going to leave this place because, well, I have all the above-ground treasures, and all the caves are done. So, with that, we go to Sunset. And of course they cue the music for having tons of treasures in one day, because we did an amazing job. I gotta say, even though we lost 10 Pikmin, it's fine.
Uh, as the ships take off, we reminisce about our day in the Awakening Wood. So as you can see, we got tons of treasures worth tons of Pocos. And... Eh. I guess I got the same amount of white Pikmin as I did before because of that flower. And I lost some purple Pikmin, but it's okay. I can just get them back. So anyway, with our mail, soon be promoted to manager. Only a small bit of debt remains. Indeed. So let's just save the game. And we get back to the map screen. Right here, I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. We currently only need 825 more Pocos to complete the debt. So, in the next episode, we will be going back into the Valley of Repose for only the second time since we've played this game. Well, I guess the third time, if you consider the first two days. But, anyway, we'll be going back to the Valley of Repose to hopefully get some stuff done there. I'm holding off on the perplexing pool because the above-ground treasures deserve their own day. There's quite a few of them, and also... That last cave right there... Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this, subscribe. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I'll try it better next time. See you guys next time.